Hello everyone and welcome back to Cobian History. Today we are talking about Barbicans for my Anatomy of Castles series. A Barbican is a defensive structure that could be added as an additional defense before reaching the gatehouse. And the word Barbican means protected outpost. Barbicans did not have a standard design and the term can refer to any additional defense placed in front of the main gatehouse. Some barbicans were connected to the gatehouse, being linked to it by walls which forced the enemy through a narrow passage. This is the most common type of barbican and could vary in length, such as this short one projecting out from the gatehouse or this long one, which creates a passage by following the length of the inner wall. In other cases they were only linked to the gatehouse by a drawbridge, basically acting as a standalone gatehouse, which the attackers would have to overcome before even being able to reach the main gatehouse. This concept could also be duplicated multiple times, creating a passage compromising of a series of gatehouses. But Barbicans didn't necessarily have to be located just in front of the gatehouse, they could have also been set a distance away from the main gate, allowing the cause to extend its defensive area further away from its walls. Another type of Barbican formed a defensive courtyard that would be connected to the gatehouse with a drawbridge. This courtyard was generally square or semicircular in shape and would have had its own walls with a gatehouse as well. Some barbicans would take it even further and would have fully walled this courtyard, usually in a circular shape, creating a killing area where any attackers would be surrounded on all sides. A good example of this is the Krakow barbican. Now I just want to take a specific look at the medieval city of Carcassonne in the southern France, as well as the castle of Carfilly in Wales. Carcassonne has multiple entrances into the city and pretty much every one of them has a different type of barbican. This is a depiction of the Haute Gate. Here you can see they had a circular barbican connected to a long walled passage to get into the city. At the top of this picture you can also see the barbican of the seat of Carcassonne, which was a fortification within the fortification of the city. This was a semicircular courtyard connected to the seat with a bridge. This one is incorporated within the outer wall of the city as the city had two walls. And here the bridge which you had to cross to enter the wall is covered by these stone defenses, as well as having a semicircular courtyard to the side of it. There is also a fourth barbican which protects the postern gate of the city walls. I also wanted to show Carefilly Castle, which as you can see has a lot of barbicans. This is the main center of the castle, which has a second wall around it with two barbicans, these lead to their own baileys or courtyards, which have their own barbicans. And in the case of this one, even this barbican has its own barbicans. Thanks for watching. On screen right now, you'll find my Anatomy of Castles playlist, or you can check out my channel to find a wider variety of historical topics. I'd like to thank my patrons for their support, especially my $25 patrons, Parker Dye and G. David. 